Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we are continuing our earlier series on in which we compare cybersecurity certifications. And if you're interested in certifications in the area of risk and audit, like IT risk management, IT audit, then this is the video for you. The risk and IT audit field, it has become very, very important over the past few decades, right? Technology has become so, so important and managing IT risk. So there's a huge demand for people who know about IT audit and IT risk. And this is where a lot of the new certifications come in. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on the C-RISC, which is the certified uh, in risk and information systems control certification and the CISA, which is the certified information systems auditor certifications. We do, these are two of the big names, right? Within IT governance and risk management. Both of them come from ISACA, which is like the professional membership organizations that covers these certifications and publications around IT risk and audit. Both of them are amazing certifications, but the question I get asked a lot, especially for people who are interested in the governance and the risk field, right? How do they stack up against each other? Like which is the better one, which is more suited towards my career goals? So this is what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I've discussed already the CISSP and the CISM and the CCSP versus the CCSK. You can check out those videos on my channel. And before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel. Please do share this video. If you feel somebody else might benefit, that will really help the channel to grow. Thank you. So let's start with the C-RISC, okay? And like I said, it stands for the Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control. And like the name says, this certification is all about identifying and managing IT risks, okay? And it's a globally recognized credential offered by ISACA. It's designed for people who are identifying and manage risks, you know, throughout the development, of information systems and uh, controls, right? It was introduced in 2010, I believe, and it has become very, very popular for people who are in IT risk management. Its target audience like are, is IT professionals who are involved in risk management and control assurance, right? Like you might be a, even be a business analyst, project manager, you're responsible for IT related projects, you can do the C-RISC, or you might be somebody who wants to like move into IT governance and managing risks, right? So all of these, they are like, it might be applicable to you. You need around three or more experience in IT risk management in, one, in the four domains. And it is a four hour examination covers around 150 questions. So if you look at the curriculum, the, what do you call, the domains which are covered, like I said, there are four domains, right? It covers a broad spectrum of topics and uh, ISACA do keep like, what do you call, uh, uh, they keep updating it and they want to make sure that people are aware of it. So it covers governance, IT risk assessment, risk responses and reporting, information technology and security. So you can say, you can see this, that whichever, uh, what you call domain we're talking about, one way or other, it is linking back to IT risk management. So this is what the CRIS focuses on. So now let's move on to the CISA, which is the Certified Information Systems Auditor. You can think of it as like the older cousin of the CRIS. Okay, it has been famous for decades in the field of IT auditing assurance. It's, it is much older then the C-RISC, I think it came out in the 1980s or 90s, I can't remember, it's quite old, right? And it is still one of the most famous and like best well-known certifications. As technology became more and more ingrained within processes, you know, IT audit became very, very popular. And the boards and the CEOs, they wanted people who can tell them if like their applications are insecure or not. So this is where the CISA came in. It is, like I said, the globally recognized as the gold standard. If you are an IT auditor, and you want to show your understanding, I think it's pretty much mandatory, right? Nobody takes it seriously as an IT auditor. If you have not done or you haven't done in the future, the CISA certification, right? So let's deep dive into it. Like I, like the CRIS, it's also offered by ISACA. And so it's backed up by a very powerful organization. And yeah, so now I remember it's, it was uh, made in 1978. Yeah, so it's quite old, right? And it has been a uh, focuses on IT auditing. So if you're focusing on that area, you might be an IT auditor, manager, consultant, you, you see a lot of third party consultants, often they are CISO certified, right? It covers around five domains. And like the C risk, it is around four hours. And you need to have five or more experience in the IT audit or like a control field, right? In within the domains. And what, what do the domains cover? So you can see this is the focus, heavily focused within IT auditing. So it, uh, it focuses on the standards and best practices for how systems are audited, governance management, uh, acquisition, making sure that, you know, systems are aligning with your, uh, what do you call best practices and protection of information assets. So one way or the other, it is all focusing around uh, IT auditing and IT governance. So like I said, this is where people get confused. And if you want to go into the governance, you don't know which to do, right? So this is where I wanted to give my opinion based on several factors. 
that might help you make the decision. So let's talk about the first most important thing, which is difficulty, right? Which is more difficult, the C-Risk or the CISA. Now, like I said, both of them are uh, like, it they cater to different professionals and different objectives within IT governance and risk management, right? So when you talk about difficulty, several factors come into play. So which is the focus? The CISA, it is aimed at people who are interested in the IT auditing and assurance of information systems, right? And it focuses on five domains and focuses heavily on IT audit. C risk is more concerned about IT risks and risk management, right? So when you talk about like depth and breadth, like CISA is going heavily into IT audit and C risk is giving heavily into IT risk. So if you are, what do you call, if you are more better in IT auditing, you will find the CISA to be easy. If you are maybe you might have a background, right? Or you might be good in mathematics or like accounting, those sort of things. CISA will be easier for you. The C risk, if you're more familiar on the risk management side, it might be more intuitive, more easier for you. The exam format is pretty much the same. You have around 150 questions for 50 questions for four hours, right? And so if you have a background in IT auditing, sorry, in a like normal auditing compliance, you'll find CISA to be easier. And serious, if you have more like cybersecurity experience. So it really depends on your area of experience. So, and which is easier for you. But remember, it is essential to remember this, that both exams are quite challenging. Neither of them are easy. So you need to prepare you need to review the domains and topics covered to make sure that they are like aligning with what you want, right? The second one is the cost. So the cost of obtaining whether you go, like I've told before in my earlier videos, whether you go for the CISA or the C risk, it can vary based on several factors, right? So whether you are a member or not, whether you go with the training, whether you just purchase the exam, whether you buy the study materials, you know, books, practice exams, maybe you might just go with the YouTube videos or some free Udemy course, right? So it really depends. You might be a member of ISACA. Both of them are quite expensive. Like they cross easily cross the $500 mark, right? And so neither of them are cheap. That much I'll tell you. So, so uh, with this regard, there's not really that much of a decision to make. Roughly, it comes around to the same. So at a glance, the cost for both CISA and CRIS is, is quite same, especially when you take into account the examination fees, study materials, maintenance costs. And it depends on whether you go with the training and the study materials. If you're a member, it, you can get a lot of savings there. So, and what I always recommend, please check with your manager, check with your company. You might get this reimbursed if you pass. A lot of companies, they do offer reimbursement. So try to get this done so that you don't get this huge dent in your wallet. Okay. And lastly, of course, the market value. So because that will influence a lot of your decisions, right? What is the market value of either of these certifications? So both of them, you can talk about like industry recognition, whether the job demand is there, salary potential, right? CISA has always been globally recognized. It's a benchmark for IT auditors, right? And usually you'll see a lot of IT jo audit job listings. They're listed as a mandatory certification. C risk is more newer, but it has become very, very popular for IT risk management and more and more companies. And when it comes to the job demand, uh, honestly, uh, when it comes to like the public health sector, finance, healthcare, those are companies which are heavily regulated. CISA has always been in high demand for you'll feel people for IT audits, compliance managers, project managers, a lot of things are there, like job listings are there for CISA. c risk is increasingly like becoming more and more popular as businesses are moving towards IT risk management, right? So you'll see more job roles for IT risk management professionals, project managers. Salary potential, both of them are quite good. CISA is consistently ranked among the top paying IT certifications and you can get a very good competitive salary. And c risk also, especially for senior risk management roles. So when it comes to career, CISA will open the doors for you for specialized IT audit roles, okay? If you're interested in IT audit and CRIS will be more towards the senior risk management roles. And if you want, want to become like a CISO or a risk management director. So when it comes to like uh, which areas you want to talk about. So you want to remember that CISA is focused heavily on the audit side and CRIS is more, uh, what do you call it? It's more niche, but it can help you bridge towards the more senior roles, okay? So both of them are great for market value, but they cater to slightly different like areas okay and it depends on where you see your career growing if you want to become like the CISO right if you want to become towards the most senior level role oversee everything serious is there for you right within cyber security if you if you're not in you if you want to be independent of cyber security more towards a consultancy more towards like auditing then of course the CISO is the one you want to go for okay so my opinion from the perspective like of an, uh, somebody who has done these certifications and coached a lot of people, which is better depends on, like I said again, your career aspirations. I've made a video on this, how to choose the right cybersecurity certification. I link it here. 
like I said, remember CISA focuses on IT auditing and uh, what do you call the serious is focuses on the, uh, what do you call uh, specifically focuses on IT risk management. Okay. So when it comes to like, if you want to focus on, uh, if you're more towards the niche and more towards the IT auditing thing, CISA is a better fit. If you're looking for a broader role that might make you a CISO one day, then serious could be more suitable. Both of them are quite high in demand. Okay. And uh, like what do you call serious covers a broader role. Serious will give you covers a broader array of topics and it gives you a bridge over towards the CISO role. CISA is more focusing, but if you're not interested in becoming the CISO, if you want to be IT auditing is your area and you're interested in, and you want to become a third party consultant, they pay that they can get very, very high salaries, right? So this is where you want to go. So really, this is where you want to talk about use the video I made about which certification to choose because that will help you a lot. That will guide you on which certification will be suited for you. Okay. So, and lastly, guys, one very important topic, which I've always said, please certifications open doors, but nothing replaces experience. The it's the combination of certification and hands-on knowledge that will take you high up in your career. So please don't just become a certification factory. I made this video earlier on also. I'll try to link it here, the mistakes which people make and make sure that uh, you're focusing on both of these things. Okay, guys, I hope this was useful to you and I hope it gave you a better idea which certification to go for. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.